Ian D here, day 6 for the spoilers of Commander Legends. If you thought that all the good cards have been already spoiled for this set, wait until you see the last card in the spoiler season. Let's start. Court 3 Denizen, 2 and 1 white, it's a 2 2. Whenever another white creature enters the battlefield under your control, tap target creature and opponent controls. Bitter Revelation, 3 and 1 black. Look at the top 4 cards of your library. You may put 2 of them into your hand and the rest into the graveyard. You lose 2 life. Wild Celebrant, 3 and 2 red, it's a 5-3, enters the battlefield, you may destroy a target artifact. Ancient Animus, 1 and 1 green, it's an instant, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature you control if it's legendary, then fights target creature and opponent controls. Armillary Sphere, 4-2, two, 2 tap, sacrifice, search your library for up to 2 basic lands, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. Staunch Stone Guard 5, it's a 2 5, it has vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, you became the monarch. Perilous Mirror 2, it's a 1 1. When it dies, it deals 2 damage to any target. Arden Intrabit Archaeologist 2 and 1 and 1 white, it's a 2 2, it's a legendary creature. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may attach any number of auras and equipment you control to target, permanent or player, and can be also a partner. Flood of Recollation, 2 blue, it's a sorcery, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand, exile it. Furnace Celebration, 1 and 2 red, whenever you sacrifice another permanent, you may pay 2, if you do, it deals 2 damage to any target. Vow of Torment, 2 and 1 black, it's an enchantment aura, enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus 2 plus 2 and has menace and can't attack you or a planeswalker you control. Null color, 3 and 1 black, it's a 2-4, for 3 and 1 black, exile a creature card from your graveyard, create a tapped 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Kumbai witches, 2 black, it's a 1-3, tap, Kumbai witches deals 1 damage to any target, and 1 damage to any target of an opponent's choice. Anara Wolfpack Familiar, 3 and 1 green, it's a 4-4, four, four. as long as it's your turn, commanders you control have indestructible, as also partner. Talis, Reverend Medium, 3, 1 black and 1 white, it's a 3, 4. At the beginning of each end step, create X, 1, 1 white spirit creature tokens with flying, where X is the number of tokens you created this turn. Armix Filigree Treasure, 2 and 1 black, it's a 3, 2. Whenever it attacks, you may discard a card. When you do, target creature defending player controls get minus X, X until end of turn, where X is the number of artifacts you control plus the number of artifact cards in your graveyard. Has also partner. Auster Command, the first rare card, 4 and 2 white, it's a reprint. Choose to destroy all artifact, destroy all enchantment, destroy all creatures converted mana cost 3 or less, or destroy all creatures who converted mana cost 4 or greater. Armored Sky Hunter, 3 and 1 white, it's a 3 3. Flying. Whenever it attacks, look at the top 6 cards of your library. You may put an aura or equipment card among, from among them onto the battlefield. If it's an equipment is put on the battlefield this way, you may attach it to a creature you control. Promise of Tomorrow, 2 and 1 white. Whenever a creature you control dies, exile it. At the beginning of each end step, if you control no creatures, sacrifice Promise of Tomorrow, return and return all cards exiled with it to the battlefield under your control. Wrong turn, 2 and 1 blue, it's an instant, target opponent gains control of target creature. If you think this card is not good, just wait for the next one. Play Griever, 2 and 1 black, it's a 6-5, at the beginning of your end step, sacrifice each other creature you control. Discard 2 cards, sacrifice Plague Reaver, choose target opponent, return Plague Reaver to the battlefield under the spare control at the beginning of their next upkeep. You can use wrong turn with this card, give it to your opponent, and your opponent needs to sacrifice all creatures. Very, very interesting combo, in my opinion. Blasphemous Act, 8 and 1 red. The spell costs 1 less to cast for each creature on the battlefield. It deals 13 damage to each creature. Court of Bounty, 2 and 2 green. When it enters the battlefield, you became the monarch. In the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. If you're the monarch, instead you may put a creature or land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Root Weaver Root, 2 and 1 green, it's a 2-1. When it enters the 
When it enters the battlefield, each opponent may search their library for up to three basic land cards. They each put one of those cards onto the battlefield tapped under your control and the rest on the battlefield tapped under their control. Then each player who searched their library this way shuffle it. Obeka Brute Chronologist, one, one blue, one black and one red, it's a 3-4. You tap, the player whose turn it is may end this turn. This is a very inter interesting card because you can use this ability for your turn or you can because it may end this turn so you can't force you cannot force your opponent to do it but you can tap it and you give the choice of your opponent to end the turn so it's a very interesting card in my opinion Nostro voice of the cracks one one blue one red and one white etc three, three tap choose one x is the number of spells you cast this turn scry x it just adds damage to target creature, you gain X life. Hans Eriksen, 2, 1 red and 1 green, it's a 1-4. One Enters the battle, when it attacks, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it on the battlefield tabbed and attacking defending player or prince worker they control. Otherwise, put that card into your hand. When you put a creature card on the battlefield this way, it fights Hans Eriksen. Again, Arcunum Weaver. One red, one white, and one black. Obviously, these are all legendary creatures. They, they can be your commander. It's a 2-3. For one red, one white, and one black, you tap, sacrifice an enchantment, return target enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. War room, tap, add one colorless mana for three, and tap, pay life equal to the number of colors in your commander's color, draw a card. Soul, soul fire eruption the first mythic card six and three red it's a sorcery choose any number of target creatures pains walkers and or players for each exile the top card of your library then soul eruption inflicts damage to that permanent or player equal to that card's converted mana cost until end of turn you may play the exile cards Ravos soul tender three one white and one black it's a two two Flying other creatures you control get plus one plus one. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target creature card from your graveyard into your hand and has also partner. Timna the Weaver, one. This is a reprint from the commander set. One, one white and one black, it's a two two. Lifelink, at the beginning of your post combat main phase, you may pay X life where X is the number of opponents that were dealt combat damage this turn. If you do, draw X card and has also partner. The last card, and I told you, wait for the last card of the spoiler, Apex Devastator, 8 and 2 green, it's a 10-10, it has Cascade, Cascade, Cascade. Yes, you heard me well, you are seeing well, it has Cascade times 4. Therefore, when this creature hits the battlefield, you will Cascade, then you will Cascade again, and then you will Cascade again, and Cascade again for 10 mana. So you can imagine how good or how strong this card can be i hope you like this video i hope you like these spoilers the day six of the spoilers of commander legends stay tuned to my channel for more and more spoilers of commander legends and any news about magic the gathering and the collectible world